Hi, today I'm going to show you a surf and turf recipe for Father's Day. You cook it on the barbecue. It's made with a pineapple ginger rosemary marinade. It's absolutely delicious. Shrimp and steak. It makes a great meal for father, but it also makes a great barbecue meal for any time of the year. And this is a cooking collaboration with three other channels. We're each going to give you a great recipe for Father's Day. So check out the other recipes after you watch my video and stay to the end for my surprise. If you like this content, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Here are the ingredients. They will also be listed in the video description below. I'm Debbie. Welcome to my kitchen. First of all, do you have a knife sharpener? You should sharpen your knife every time before you use it. That way it only takes a minute. Here I'm chopping the ginger into very fine pieces. You want it very finely diced. Then I'm going to take three rosemary leaves. You could use four or five if you love the taste of rosemary. And I'm going to chop them very finely as well. And I've got a little bit of parsley and chives I'm chopping into the marinade. Put that all in there. Add a third a cup of crushed pineapple to give it a stir. Then add two teaspoons, 10 ml of orange juice concentrate and two teaspoons, 10 ml of lemon juice. Then you're going to add 30 ml, two tablespoons of olive oil and a little bit of pepper. Oh, I jumped ahead in the ingredient list. Here comes the olive oil. And that's your marinade. We will add the salt later. Give it a stir and it's ready. Split it into another bowl for the shrimp. And here I've got a red cutting board. I only use this cutting board for raw flesh. So you should have a separate cutting board for flesh. If you don't, then you need to make sure you wash that cutting board really well anytime you cut any kind of raw mish feed or seafood. You see here I'm putting the marinade for the shrimp into a smaller container. Now, this is my steak. It's about 340 grams, three quarters pounds of strip loin steak. I'm going to tenderize it, not because the steak is tough, but because I want to create indentations in the meat for the marinade to sink in better. So that's why I am tenderizing it with a tenderizer. Once again, if you don't have that tool, there will be a link in the video description. Now we're gonna put the steak into the marinade, make sure it's totally covered. And instead of using plastic wrap that goes into the garbage and goes to landfill, I have these silicone covers that are washable and they're inexpensive. A link to that will be in the video description. So my shrimp were frozen, so I put them in some water to thaw them. I drain the water and now I'm taking off the shells. I prefer to take my shells off before I cook my shrimp. Plus, by taking off the shells, the marinade will sink better into the shrimp. And so the shrimp will be more flavorful. Cover the shrimp with the marinade. Make sure all the surfaces are well covered. Cover it with a lid and put them both in the fridge for at least three hours. Six to 12 hours is better. Let's go see what Lauralee is gonna make as part of this collaboration. Hello everyone, I am Laura Lee from Cooking with Laura Lee. I am so excited to be teaming up once again with these extremely hardworking and talented ladies. What a joy to be a part of this collaboration. I wanted to say thank you to all who have subscribed during our Mother's Day collaboration. For the rest of you, I invite you all to come to my channel after watching this awesome video. On my channel, you will see some of my videos will be short and simple while others will be longer and more complex. Today, I will be making her ends. It is dedicated to my awesome and wonderful husband. See you soon. Hello, Laura Lee. That looks amazing. Please check out her channel and the other channels in this collaboration. I'm so sorry. I thought I pressed the record button, but I didn't. So I didn't film this part. What I did was I took a bell pepper and I cut it into large chunks. And then I took four to six mushrooms 
and you could also add large chunks of onion at this point. I can't cook with as onion as my husband will have an asthma attack, but it would be delicious with onion. And what you want to do is you want to alternate vegetable, shrimp, vegetable, shrimp, vegetable, shrimp, and alternate the different vegetables throughout the process. Make your skewers as long as you want, make as many skewers as you want, and just put a little dash of salt on right now before we're going to cook. My barbecue has been heating. Now it's nice and hot, so I'm going to put the skewers, uh, or kebabs as you might call them, and the steak onto the grill. I'm going to cover them, and then I'm going to let the skewers cook for about two to three minutes. It really depends on how hot your barbecue is. Then I'm going to open up the barbecue and I will turn the skewers over so that they can cook on the other side. And at the same time, I will let them cook for another two to three minutes. I checked the temperature, but it's really hard to cook your shrimp by temperature. And then I turned the, sh the steaks over also. Now I'm checking the temperature of the steaks. They're not ready. But the skewers are looking pretty ready to me. I did check the temperature, but I decided it was just too hard to get a good reading uh, in the barbecue. So I decided to use visual color and texture as an indication of whether the shrimp are done. If you like this content, then click the like button and subscribe to my channel and stay to the surprise at the end. Let's go see what Kathy's making for us. It'll be really exciting. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm so excited to be part of this collaboration with these ladies for our Father's Day special. I'm making Korean barbecue ribs, also known as kalbi. My hubby loves it, and the recipe is super easy. So I hope you check out my channel. The link is down below. And don't forget to check out the other channels that are participating in this collab. What an interesting recipe, Kathy. They look delicious. My barbecue wasn't working very well, so it took about five minutes on the first side and four minutes on the second side for the shrimp to be done. It should be curled, it should be lightly pink, and you shouldn't see any gray or raw areas, and the vegetables should look a little bit cooked as well. So that's how you know it's done. Now I'm measuring the temperature of the steak. It's not quite ready. And I turn it over. It should reach 145 Fahrenheit is the minimum temperature, and it just did. That is the temperature to have a rare steak. If you want it to be uh, more well cooked, then I will give you the temperatures in the video description. Cooking with a food thermometer is the best way to ensure you cook for food safety and for food quality. And if you want to know more about that, then watch this video where I give you all the best practices so you can have great food with a food thermometer. Let's see what delicious recipe Melissa has for us. Hello there! I'm so happy you guys are joining us for this Father's Day collab. We're going to be making some delicious and great recipes for you guys, so I hope you enjoy them all. But make sure you stop by my channel and watch this broccoli and cheddar quiche. It was one of my father's favorites, and it's absolutely delightful. It's great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it looks fantastic after done baking. So I'll see you guys over at my channel a little bit later. That looks so good, Melissa. Thank you! So it started to get overcast and I thought, oh, I better get the barbecue cleaned. By the time it was cleaned and I'm ready to cook, it's raining. Kebabs. For the shrimp, I kind of looked at the color just to make sure that they are kind of slightly pink and don't show any gray spots. So that's how I cooked the shrimp. We have a shrimp right in the bell pepper. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is scrumptious. The shrimp and the pineapple go so well together. The bell pepper and the pineapple go so well together. And the crunch of the bell pepper and the softness of the shrimp and then just that hint of rosemary, tiny hint of orange juice and hints of lemon. Let's taste it. Mm. Now mushrooms have a very different flavor. They kind of have a mammy flavor. 
savory, a little bit meaty flavor, but it goes very well with the pineapple, the ginger, the rosemary. So this dish is amazing. Fast, easy, healthy. You could do this in your oven on grill, on a low grill. You could also do it on the barbecue like I did. So I cooked this steak steak to 145, which is medium rare. It was slightly over 145, so it was medium rare approaching medium. And I didn't put any salt prior to cooking, so I'm just going to uh, sprinkle a little salt now, but I won't add any other seasoning because we did add the pineapple, ginger, and all that sauce, which has enough flavor going on. This is how well it's cooked at 145, 146. That's the minimum cooking temperature. Let's give this a taste. Oh, beef goes so well with pineapple and rosemary and ginger. This is delicious. Super easy. You can make that amazing marinade and have yourself an amazing meal. All you need to complete this is a little bit of a salad. And if you want, you can have a little bit of rice or you could have my chive potatoes. So if you want to know how to make chive potatoes, check out the recipe. It's delicious too and it's fast, easy, healthy. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you like this recipe, give me a like. And, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because I give you lots of delicious recipes, fast, easy, healthy, even if you don't know how to cook. And I give you tips and information around food. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you like to barbecue or not. And what are you going to do for Father's Day? And this steak could also be pan fried. It could also be oven grilled. If you don't have a barbecue or you don't want to cook in the rain like I just did. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't a downpour. So I didn't get super wet. Just a bit wet. Everybody have a good week. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I have some links in the video description for the recipe, but also for uh, if you want to know more about food, you can sign up for my newsletter. There's a link in the video description there. It comes out once or twice a month, depending on the time of year, and you'll get tips and information about food that you don't get on my YouTube channel or in my blog. And if you would like to have a printable copy of this recipe, then go to my blog. That link will also be in the video description, and you can download a recipe card. Have a good week, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. This is my helper. She's with me all the time. Today, she doesn't have much of a role, but she's my perfect, wonderful companion. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching.